guys, it's like midnight and I'm gonna do an experiment. It's super windy outside. The turbine keeps doing its brake. So we're gonna fix that, hopefully. And what I'm gonna do, because it needs more loads, is I'm gonna hook this four terminal DC-DC converter. into the battery. Whoops. 12.7, 12.7. And then, check this out. I'm gonna throw this electric mat on there, but what I need to do is see which one's the three amp one. I cannot tell. Okay, so it's kind of a ghetto connection there, but since I have the new mats here, these heater mats, I'm going to plug each one of these in. And that will give me four mats in total heating up overnight and helping the wind turbine stay on as long as possible without quitting. We're gonna try it. If it works, it works. If I gotta disconnect one or a couple, we will. How about that? Sounds good to me. So I just stacked four mats, four electric heating mats on there. And the battery has quit on it at 12.4 because the battery doesn't like that. Maybe that's too many. So what we're going to do is I'm going to disconnect one. How about that? And we'll see how many I can actually run on this thing. It says the battery's at 12.5 and it's unhappy. That's kind of stupid. So maybe two's the max. Let's pull this one. Because I think it's confusing that with a dead short. Not entirely sure. Wires aren't warm or anything. We'll see what happens. Battery keeps flashing angry, but it's sitting at 12.5. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Let's pick up the camera. Show you my other solar. It's sitting at 10.7. No loads on it. And it's nighttime. It says we're getting a nighttime voltage of 0 0.7 volts. Now, the only load on this thing is the MPBT. 10.7 is bad for that battery. Super bad. So, we'll see what happens. So I gotta wait for the turbine to spin up before I can show you anything back here. But, let's go back here. Um, notice guys, this is something weird, kind of. The wood stove, which I just topped up again, has been running and heating the tiny house very well by itself. Um, notice the propane and pilot are off. Yeah. So I'm not. I'm going to do an experiment where this thing is disabled for the night, and we're only going to keep running our uh, fan here. Now this power pack for this fan up here is sitting at 17%. So I may have to swap that over with a bigger one for tonight. 
Um, hard to say though. I may just let this drop down. I gotta damp it down anyway. Closed and just a tad open. And then I'm out of here. We're just gonna let, I'm not, I'm not gonna replace that power pack. I'm just gonna, this will burn down before that, for the, or the battery does, so not worried about it. Um, <clears throat> I'll bring you over here. 12.6 and I had the lights and fan running for the majority of the night and we're still at 12.6 so that's gold entertainment's on and I'll take you back here I got my little eye zoom light that I'm using now the leak the leak is bullshit you guys see that water griplet forming? It kind of moved after I taped around it, which is kind of bizarre. But there it is. See that little on the corner of that tape? Here comes the drip. Very slow. It's not raining out, but this problem has to be solved. Because we don't know what the hell is going on. There's the rag. I think the turbine's running again. We're sitting at 12.84. It's nighttime, obviously. Let's see what we got down here. 66% under load. That's not bad. Not that I'm gonna watch too much more TV. SNL's on. Haven't watched that in forever. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go check. Whoa, I'm gonna go check on the um, wind turbine because I thought I heard it spool up. Could be wrong. Oh, it did. It did. See the lights down there? It's at 12.2. Powering on. I'm trying to find the balance, guys. So what it is is the wind turbine. When it comes on, okay, it basically wants to keep running. And if I don't have enough loads on to stop it from turning its internal brake on, we gotta find that balance. So it's a hell of a fight. And once I find the balance, I'm gonna keep it forever and that way I will have power at night on the wind turbine. So that there's two plugged in producing heat out of the four. And I think we found my balance so far. I do not hear the wind turbine going though. But when it spools up is what I need to know. Because when it spools up, I can either add one more heater pad or Two more. It all depends. Right? So I don't hear anything out there, but it's definitely running off the battery. So a four was a little too much. I'm gonna check these wires right now too. somebody's texting me this hour what the hell I better check that could be a family emergency I'll be back no heat there though whatsoever <clears throat> 